You're now live. Hey, everybody. Um, I'm not sure how many people will tune in out of the gate here. So I think I'm just going to roll and start talking. I wanted to hop on here. Uh, I just did some breathing outside. <sighs> Getting in some fresh air. And I have a couple exciting things I wanted to share with you. The first one is... I have a song coming out tomorrow that I'm really excited about. It's called Coincidence or Fate. It's probably pretty loud. Can you guys hear this? What's going on? How you doing? Is it QIG? QGADI. Is that how you say it? That's dope. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm just outside doing a little breathing. Getting my energy right. Getting centered. And I wanted to hop on here real quick. Chi, nice. Chi got it. What's up, Aaron? Welcome, welcome. I'm just letting everybody know I have a new song coming out tomorrow. Just getting some breathing in outside. Wanted to check in, see how everybody's doing. And uh, another cool thing that I really wanted to let you know about on Instagram Live this morning is I'm putting together a music video for a new song that's unreleased right now. It's called People Are the World. And it's a song that means a lot to me. I've had it for a long time, and I'm finally getting the chance and the opportunity to release it. And we're making a collaborative music video. So, if you're at home, wherever you are, it doesn't even quite matter. If you have a phone, you can go to my website, johnbrewstermusic.com, and you can send in your video clip or a snippet of you doodling out, People Are the World, Whatever it is, we're gonna make this collaborative music video come together and shine a light on all of the goodness that's happening in humanity right now, which I know there's a lot of fear type energy going on. And um, with that, it's timely, I think, that I have the song already and recorded. And I had the idea, and with the help of some friends, we're gonna put this collaborative music video together of everyone contributing their little pieces and just go do 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 do. And the song's called People Are the World. And um, it, within a few weeks, I hope to have that out um, with all of your help and teaming up together. So that's something really cool you can check out. Um, I'll type it in right here on my comments. So you can go to johnbrewstermusic.com. Oh, I typed it wrong. johnbrewstermusic.com. Boom. And... Hey, what's going on, Bailey? How are you doing? Um, for anyone that is watching, how are you doing? What What are you choosing to focus on right now? Are you focusing on working in or working out? It's something I was talking about with a friend of mine, my partner. And right now, I've had the tendency to work out, to put exert energy, to get my product out there, to get my message out there, to get my music out there to work out my body and ironically I think given everything that's going on in the world now might be a time to work in um, with the world stopping on many levels now could be a perfect time to work in uh, Chikadi says working to work on my wine business and finish school nice where are you located right now I'm tuning in from Charleston South Carolina and um, that's dope to hear. Where are you tuning in from? So is the wine business something that's online? Can I check it out? I'll check out your profile after this. What's up, Catherine? Hi. Just doing some breathing and talking about People Are the World. And for anyone else just tuning in, I have a new song coming out tomorrow called Coincidence or Fate. Let's see. Nice, up in Michigan, tight. So is this a new business that you're just launching or you've been at it for a little while? Is there anything I can do to help? A cool little thing that I'm getting into today, later at five o'clock p.m. Eastern time, I'm going live with a friend of mine um, on his Facebook page who runs a coaching business and I'm going on there to share some of my original music and just add some positivity and general good energy to the to the folks on his Facebook page 
Yes, I'm definitely going to message you soon. I'm working on that today. I can't wait to hear your songs. Yo, what's up, dude? Uh, I'm live on Insta. Uh, I'm live on Insta. Oh, alright, alright. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, man, so I have one song out right now called Every Time I Chose It. And you can go to Spotify, any of the places you stream, and work on that. Listen to that right now. Uh, I've been at it for a little while, but I'm starting to go full-time shortly. Dude, that's amazing. Nice. Heck yeah. Um, I can't wait to check out more of what you're doing after this. Um, so yeah, I have one song out and another one coming out tomorrow, which are on all the streaming platforms. And if you're interested in helping out in this video, go to johnbrewstermusic.com and you can send in a clip from your phone or just take a picture and in just a few minutes uh, you can help be a part of this music video. Just send in something cool, shine a light on the goodness that the human spirit has to offer right now with all that's going on and we're going to make this collaborative video that's super dope with help my friend Jarrett Nixon. Cool. Well, for anyone that watches this later, um, I hope you're doing well with all that's going on. And this is another test experiment. I've been testing and experimenting a lot right now. I've been at home mostly for a week inside, so my only contact with the external world has been through things like this. So with that, I've been going live on YouTube, I've been editing vlogs, I've been writing songs, releasing a song tomorrow. Um, finding a balance between working out and working in, self-reflection and just kind of checking back in with myself, which now I think that's a really good time for a lot of people to do that inner work so we can plant seeds and as the market and everything kind of comes back online, so to speak, um, we're that much more ready spiritually to, to get in the flow, to add value to the world, baby. How's it going, Sarah? Oh, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah Garrett. I just combined all the names together. Sarah Garrett, how are you doing? Long time no see. Um, this is really quite a random Instagram live. One thing I wanted to talk about, actually, last night over dinner, I was talking about the spiritual elimination diet. I don't know if this already exists, but many of you might know or I've heard about elimination diets where you like really restrict the things you're eating and then you start implementing slowly things back into your diet so then you can learn how you react to things and uh, like some people cut dairy out of their diet and then when they implement dairy back into their diet they might realize that they have an adverse reaction to it or they have a reaction to tomatoes and they realize you know what tomatoes actually aren't my thing so I was sort of taking that analogy and applying it to spirituality and to your energy and your vibe as a state. So right now, with everything coming to a close and a lot of people being inside and reflecting and having time to themselves, as we start re-implementing things back into our life, when I go back out into the real world and I'm centered, I can really feel left, right. I can really feel, oh, I vibe with this. I don't vibe with this. So I'm finding I'm really, I've heightened awareness when I'm having conversations with people or family or friends or new people or people on social media. Since I feel more centered at home, in my home space, as we go back out into the world after this little hiccup happens with the corona and we heal and work through it together, we're more in touch with our energetic state. So although there is a lot of bad going on so to speak in the world and people are figuring out how to cope with all this this change it's technically in my opinion a really cool opportunity to to upgrade if that makes sense yo Sarah and Catherine if you guys are still on here what was the thing that you guys talked about the phrase um, for the camp counseling it was like not always do your best, but um, like only change if it's for positive growth. Like, you rock, never change. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's one. I think there's like another one too, except for positive growth. Yes, yes, yes. 
Yo, Sarah, where are you at in the world right now? Except for positive growth. Yeah, you rock, never change, except for positive growth. That's tight. Change is usually uncomfortable for people. Right now, my dad is coming to mind. He's always said it. He's a history teacher and says, people don't like change. And that's so true. We're so habitual in our nature. We get so used to doing something a certain way that it's super uncomfortable to change our habits. And it's a process. And <laughs> here's the exception though. If it's for positive growth, if it's for positive growth, you gotta work through that uncomfortable change. You gotta work through that. What's up, Miss Hollifield? Good morning. Hi. We're outside in nature. Just breathing in that good ass prana, as Ralph Smart would say. I've been going live on YouTube and testing, and I'm curious of your feedback about this. I've been trying to figure out my medium on how to best like share my message and my medicine with people not only through music but through live streams and YouTube and vlogs and whatever else it is and a theme that's been coming up a lot while I've been experimenting is this phrase reminder to myself and I really connect with it because for me it helps me get get out of my own way when I say a reminder to myself it's almost as if I'm giving myself advice and helping me learn from my past. So if I were to give my 18 year old self advice, I would say whatever, like, hey, have more fun. Don't care about what other people think. Um, follow your heart, all those things, whatever your personal advice is. But when I say a reminder to myself right now, it's kind of like, hey, what lesson could you learn right now? A reminder to myself. When you go live on Instagram, uh, ask questions, engage with people. So going into all these different videos and things I'm doing online for social media, a way that I'm going into it is I'm, I'm using this, this framework of reminder to myself. Like what is the reminder to myself for this? What is my intention is another angle. Like my intention for this is to, to give back, to add value. I love how it's outside. It's like such a nice relaxing vibe for me and hopefully for you too if you're stuck inside. What's up, Wadman? How you doing? What's sticking out to you guys? Does any of this resonate? So Sarah, you're up in Long Island. Heck yeah, how's it going up there? Um, this might be reiterating for a few of you, but I have a new song coming out tomorrow. And I also am working on a music video with the help of my sister who might be on here watching and also Jarrett Nixon, a longtime mutual friend. We're making a collaborative music video and we're doing that by having you all and anyone around the world send in video clips that remind them of all the good that's happening in the world. The song is called People Are The World and you can send in clips to johnbrewstermusic.com. I feel you there and I do the exact same thing, reminding yourself as you are spreading the word to everyone. Yeah. So I was watching this podcast this morning with Aubrey Marcus and Eric Godsey, and they were talking about coaching, how online um, the freelance business of a lot of these self-made brands are going from, I forget the exact numbers on this, but from like a $30 billion industry to a $300 billion industry. The numbers are way off on that, but the point of it is with just 10 or 20 clients, you can run your personal brand. It's not, I'm not doing that right now, but that's so true. And I really wanna act on that and find a way to implement that if that's really for me and what my best way is to do that. So I'm testing right now on how I could maybe do something like that. It's so fascinating, like think about that. With just 10 or 20 clients, if you were to coach somebody and just help someone make a change in something that you're passionate about. Like yesterday, my friend had a virtual piano lesson and it's probably like 50 bucks an hour and it was a 30 minute lesson so it might have been 50 bucks for 30 minutes to teach piano. 
And if you have 10 people or 20 people that you regularly check in with and teach them piano, that's a lifestyle. You could be anywhere in the world and just hop on a Zoom call, hop on FaceTime, and be coaching them in something that you're passionate about, not just piano, but the exact niche that you are passionate about that someone else could really help in getting that step. And the other thing about what uh, you said, Chigati, is um, reminding yourself as you're spreading the word. The word as seems really important there. Like, I've had this conversation with people before where I sort of feel like, who am I to coach someone or who am I to give advice when I haven't gotten to the finish line yet? Well, the irony is there is no finish line. This is an ongoing thing and no one's actually at the end. It's ongoing forever, as far as we can tell. <laughs> so it is important to share the journey as it's happening. Like right now, share my truth and what I'm talking about, what I'm interested in. I might be really interested in like cooking in three years. I have no idea, but right now I'm really interested in the spiritual journey and sharing my music and finding ways to connect. I'm in that experimental phase. So it's important for me to be, I think personally, I'm choosing to share my truth, tell my story as it is right now, and do it in a way where my heart is open and see what sticks out to you. Because it helps me learn how I can help you. Right on, that's how I feel. What's going on, Mia? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. It's ongoing forever, right? Share the journey as it's happening. Share my truth. I'm working on a song called uh, <laughs> tell your story, share your truth What else can you really do? I hold a mirror up to you So, I think one of my gifts, so to speak Like something that I've noticed people mention to me throughout my life And this is something everyone can do Like, everyone has that friend that, like, fixes a lamp that's broken and you're like wow you're so good at fixing like little electronic things and to someone else that would be like a worse nightmare but to that your friend they might be just really good at fixing knickknack things and it's important to like pick up on that stuff for self-awareness and something that I've picked up on is people tell me that sometimes I can be very much like a mirror like I can be a, a reflection and I try to bring that into my music too that I want my music to be a tool, not just to like talk about my life and share my experiences, because to me, that's just like a small percentage of what's going on with my music and my message. I think a bigger part of it is creating this world in my music that you can jump into and like learn about yourself. I remember journaling a lot about my music songwriting process and wondering, do I write it from the perspective of we or what are you up to or what am I up to like I didn't know what perspective to write my music from because I was really thinking about how you are going to listen to it because sure music is very healing for me and I love writing songs but I think what's even cooler in a lot of ways is being able to sing those songs with people and connect with people um, and not just make it a song that only works for me but a song that can work for all of us um, there's a fine line there. I don't know how to best do it. Songwriting's a mystery. <laughs> Just sing from your heart, I think, is a good, good enough response. Um, you are a reflection of everything around you. You are a reflection of everything around you. Yes. Gee, Gotti. Yo, what pod... Uh, let me just switch my feet this way. What podcast or books are you guys checking out? Because you guys seem to be woke. Because you are a reflection of everything around you. Yeah. My first song that I released is called Every Time I Chose It. And it's about everything it grows every time I chose it. It's sort of like a theory about the law of attraction. And I put it into a song. That if you were to really took, take an honest look at your life, technically you decided all the things that are in it. Um, whether you consciously knew it or not like the shoes I chose to buy um, the 
jacket, the sweatshirt I'm choosing to wear, all these things I chose with my decision. Was I influenced by a lot of people over my, over my life, particularly my parents? For sure. <laughs> Do my parents have an influence over the decisions I've made in my lifetime? For sure. They've helped me to get to where I am. But when we become adults and grow up and mature, we can take responsibility for what's in our life. Like if you don't like where you live or if you don't like your job, there's, this, there's an empowering opportunity to say, you know what, I chose this. I don't have to work here. I'm not, no one's pointing a gun to my head. And if they are, I would maybe recommend finding a way out of that situation. And if I can help you, uh, anyways, that's another story. The point being is taking responsibility for your life and all the decisions you make, conscious or unconscious, really shape what's gonna show up in your life. If you choose, like think about this, on social media, if you followed 10 accounts that say um, positive daily quotes, positive daily quotes, positive daily quotes, uplifting daily quotes, um, empowering daily quotes, you follow those 10. And then you follow another 10 as another experiment that are like um, negative pessimistic quotes, negative pessimistic quotes, neg and you go on your social media, your feed is going to reflect that back to you. And, and those are your decisions of who you follow, who you let into your world. Um, now, some things are out of your control, sure. But there are some things that are in your control, like who you follow, where you place your attention. You don't have to watch TV shows that make you feel terrible about yourself. You can watch something uplifting or listen to a podcast. You have that choice, which is pretty miraculous. <laughs> that we can like, in one second, I could end this and go like watch something uplifting in five seconds. Or the opposite, I could go watch something that just like completely lowers my vibration and makes me angry or frustrated or start judging people. Like, it's all self-awareness. This all came from that, that comment you said, Gigati. Um, am I saying that right, Gigati? Because you are a reflection of everything around you. Yeah. What's going on, Ohm Radio, if you're still tuned in, and Stin Worldwide, and Sam Siebes, how are you doing? Surround yourself with what you want to become. Bless. That's so true. I want to become these trees. <laughs> and you guys, you guys have some good vibes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What are you guys up to today? For anyone just tuning in, Sam or Stin World, if you guys are still popping around, Ohm Radio. Um, quick 30-second update for anyone that just joined us. I have a new song coming out tomorrow on Spotify and iTunes. And I also am working on a music video that you can actually be a part of. After this finishes up, you can go to my website, johnbrewstermusic.com, and all the information is there. We're making a music video called People Are The World, and it's an original song of mine that I wrote, and I'm teaming up with some friends, even my sister. Everybody's involved and welcome, and we're gonna send in video clips, send in photos, send in doodles, whatever it is. You just go to johnbrewstermusic.com, and you can participate. And we're gonna make this collaborative music video where all of our different video clips and photos are together and helps shine a light on all the good that's happening in humanity right now. So if you're interested in something like that, you can go to John Brewster Music dot com. And I made it the the main page. So you don't even have to go anywhere. Just go to John Brewster Music dot com and all the directions are there. It could take like five or ten seconds or if you want to make a whole art project and go outside and film you holding up something cool you made, send it to us and we're going to incorporate it into this dope music video. Um, love that idea. Yeah. So check this out. Last night, someone from Germany for this video idea wants to handwrite in German, People Are The World, which is the name of the song in the music video people are the world in German and send it in to us so we can put it in the music video. So if you know any friends or have family from across the world, it doesn't matter. Everybody is, is invited to be a part of this video and 
I, I love that it's already reaching countries that I've never been to. So dope. Um, small world, amazing country. Uh, what's up, Cameron Clark, if you're still in here? Welcome, welcome. I'm just hanging outside. So Stin World in Vietnam right now. Some wild trees here. I've never been to Vietnam. Sounds like a beautiful place. Yo, did you guys see this? Stin Worldwide and Chigadi, did you guys start DMing each other? Because my best friend and business partner is from Vietnam. You guys might have a, a small mutual connection there. Pretty dope. Small world. Oh, I get it. Small world. Ah. Do you guys have any questions or like thoughts, podcast, uh, passions you're diving into? Like, what are you doing with this time? Are you in lockdown? Are you carrying on as normal? Are you jumping into the void to make your dream come true? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm kind of in that experimental phase of my life. If I look back on this time as I'm 24 years old, I've been working on my original music for a year now. Um, I've been part of a band with my best friend and uh, part of a band with my best friends called Sonder Blue for years. And about a year ago, I decided to work on my own music. And so I've been really experimenting to see how I can best serve you all and get my message out there. Just tell my story, speak my truth and follow my calling. It's still kind of un... Uh, it's revealing itself to me through action like this I'm learning so much right now by the time this finishes up I feel like I could go write like a three-page paper of all the things you guys are helping me learn and I hope you could take something away from this if I've said anything that's been helpful <laughs> um, how have you been over the past month great question um, I've been finding a good balance I would say um, I think I could ground myself even more, especially during this time. I have a tendency to always be in the doing energy state. Like, I have trouble coming to a complete stop because I think subconsciously I'm still updating a belief inside of me that says I always have to be doing something to um, feel good about my life. and. There's a fine line there because I think progress is a vital part of the human experience. We love progress and Tony Robbins talks about, what's up Alan, how you doing? Progress is a huge, huge, beautiful thing that humans crave. We wanna grow, we wanna share, we wanna contribute. Um, but there, that needs to be in a sustainable and healthy way. So over, over the past month, especially this past week since I've been primarily at home, what's up Rick, um, I've been trying to really balance and I think I'm finding a, a good balance of working out versus working in, like putting out content versus putting in the work and in the reflection time to just be and to like literally sit and stare at the ceiling or literally go for a walk and not have any grand goal in mind, but just act on inspiration and, and enthusiasm. Like, the funny thing is, here's where, here's where I learned something. I learned something about this balance of working out and working in, because when I, uh, when I feel inspired, and enthusiastic about sharing my message and trying things and making videos and writing songs. When I'm doing all those things, I really enjoy it. So much so that I wanna like go on all cylinders, but usually what I've seen happen in my life is that actually ends up of, after six months, I get really tired and get sick and my body says, yo, I'm forcing you to stop. I'm forcing you to just relax. When really I could have avoided that altogether if I just took like 30 minutes and did nothing and just had some maintenance time. So even if you're doing something you enjoy, having that maintenance time to just relax and get your mind off of whatever your primary mission is in life, like to go for a walk and not listen to a podcast and not listen to music, like really just unplug everything and be, not do, but just be. 
And right now I'm finding that balance of I'm so excited to be on here and talking and connecting and sharing and experimenting. But at the same time, like I know today what's just as important and valuable is to go for that 30 minute walk and check in with myself and just be and not have any goals in mind of like, ooh, what am I going to make this afternoon? What song do I need to work on? And da 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 da. Just be. You've grown up so much since you started doing your own thing. Well, thanks, Mia. Um, I invited him to the live. Trizzy Blue is a rapper. Cool. I hope Trizzy Blue checks in. Michael Duff Music, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Um, yeah, so as far as the growing up thing, it's funny, like, I'm no master at the game of life by any means. But from what I've observed from my experience, it usually takes a great deal of suffering and pain for people to change. Like, not many people just like all of a sudden say, you know what, tomorrow I'm going to go on this fantastic new healthy workout and healthy eating regimen and I'm going to adopt in this new lifestyle tomorrow. Usually what inspires that is when someone's life just shit hits the fan and maybe you're overweight or maybe you're eating a bit more unhealthy than you want to be. Maybe you've developed some bad habits that you, you really want to change and there comes a point where you say, I've had enough. And <laughs> I've reached that point a few times in my life where I said, I've had enough of not living my life. Like, not just putting myself out there. Like, right now, my younger self, a year ago, or two years ago, or five years ago, would be probably like this right now, watching me, going, like, wow, he's like doing something. He doesn't even know what he's doing. He's just like trying and living life by following his gut and experimenting. That also happens to be the phase I'm in. I'm experimenting, I'm learning. So I don't even really know the format of all this. It's through the darkness that you can see the light. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, like I just had enough. Jim Rohn, um, a, a financial business life coach from more than the 90s, I think, um, has a lot of good stuff on YouTube. He talks about the day that could be the most empowering for people is the day you say, I've had enough. And you say, you know what? I've had enough of picking out the can of beans from the store that's worth 33 cents versus the, one, the organic one that's 37 cents. You pick the one that's four cents cheaper because you think you can't afford the one that's four cents better for you. And like, at some point you might say, you know what, I've had enough. Like I want, I want my life to be better. I deserve better. I know I am worthy of beautiful, amazing things. Same brother, following the omens. Mm. So, um, yeah, those moments of saying I've had enough and making a change. <laughs> I'm on a roll right now. I haven't talked this much in one go in a long time. Um, this reminds me of Michael Jackson to his song, Man in the Mirror. Man in the Mirror. There's a few songs that I always go back to. One's Fix You by Coldplay. One's Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. Um, some of the lyrics that stand out are, if you never try, you'll never know. <sighs> Big one. <sighs> if you never try, you'll never know. If you never try to just take one step towards your dream, then how will you ever know if, <sighs> how will you ever know? I think that would be the first tattoo if I ever got a tattoo, but I'm sure someone in my family, if they are watching that, would be like, don't get any tattoos. Um, that's okay. Another one, right? Michael Jackson, Man in the Mirror. If you really want to make a change. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make the change. I'm stuck in. Starts with you. Gotta take responsibility. It's so uncomfortable at first to take responsibility, but woof, it's empowering. It's empowering to take responsibility. Because then, 
when things go well, if you win and like something you put yourself out there and you go for it and, and like you have a little miniature win in life, you add value to someone's life, you touch somebody's life, you have a win, it's like, wow, I did that. I stepped up and I, I, I actually provided something. I did something. And the flip side of that is you take responsibility and you fall short or you fail. It's like, wow, like that's on me. You feel this, this responsibility feeling like it puts you in an empowering state to, to realize that you are player one. <laughs> this is a big thing. You are player one in your life. Player number uno, not player two. Like, this is your movie, your life. Right now, I'm player one in my movie. Like, I'm out here, I'm living my life in nature at this apartment complex. I'm sharing a new song tomorrow. Check it out. Um, I'm making a music video. You can go to John Brewster Music. That's all my life. I'm player one in my life. And in my life, I want to add value to your life so you can be the best player one that you can be in your life. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, don't try to be me or don't try to be my player one because you can't. You got to be you. So take the controller and put it in your hands. Now I'm turning into a motivational speaker or something. Kelsey, how's it going? Kelsey, how are you doing? I'm just on here ranting pretty much at this point. Um, you guys have any like final thoughts or questions for anyone who's been sticking around? Past the sticks? That's what I was doing, wasn't I? I was ripping up sticks. <laughs> preach miss hoffett i know you've been watching some dope podcasts any like final thoughts or things to check out things that you're learning any reminders you want to give yourself like something you're learning right now during this time um so i think i'm gonna hop off here shortly and transition into the next part of my day but this has been such a pleasure to take the instagram live outside this morning and chat with you all Thanks for sharing yourself, man. I appreciate that, dude. Oh, I forgot to mention. I saw earlier you said something about fix you. Um, I forget where it is in the comments, but uh, maybe it's just a synchronous thing. Fix you. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. The thing is, if you never try, you never know. You came a long way since the first time we chatted, bro, and it's beautiful. Dude, we are well on the way. Um, and that's and that's beautiful. Um, you kind of just sort of paraphrase a lyric that's coming out in my song tomorrow. You came a long way. So in the chorus of the song that you'll hear, it's called Coincidence or Fate. And it goes, I'm well on my way. Coincidence or Fate. And there's these parts that go, well on my way, well on my way well on my way and it's true like whether or not you know it or not <laughs> you're on your way and you're learning so here's another reminder to to learn and have fun and i'll have to work on my outro of how to end these things but i hope you all are doing well connor i'm just hopping off bro no i'd stay on here forever but I'm going to transition, and I hope you all have a great rest of the morning and day. Song coming out tomorrow, Coincidence or Fate. Music video that you can participate in at johnbrewstermusic.com. All the directions are there. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll work on these outros. That's it. Let's take a deep breath, and I'm going to hit end. One more. Thanks, bro.